top of the morning to you. Happy St. Patrick's Day week, everybody. Today, I am going to read to you how to catch a leprechaun, and then we're going to work on making leprechaun traps. But before we can even do any of that, we have to figure out what in the world is a leprechaun. So this little guy that we see here is a leprechaun. A leprechaun is a legend. Um, it's not necessarily a real thing. It's supposedly a type of fairy that stands about as tall as a three-year-old, so maybe one of your younger siblings. They're usually described as bearded men uh, who wear a green suit and hat, and it's believed that there are no female leprechauns to be found. According to stories, leprechauns uh, are shoemakers who spend most of their time making and fixing shoes. In fact, when a leprechaun is near, you can hear the tap, tap, tapping of his tiny, teeny, tiny hammer as he drives nails into shoes. These little men are also said to be very mischievous and they enjoy playing tricks on the people that they meet. So they typically wear green, they like gold, they love to fix shoes, they like things that are shiny, and they like to um, play tricks on people. It is said, according to this legend, that if you are able to catch a leprechaun, he will tell you the location of his pot of gold. And in other legends, they say that he might even grant you some wishes. So that being said, I would love to catch a leprechaun. I like gold and I wouldn't mind having some extra wishes. Plus, it actually sounds sort of fun. So we're going to read a book today about how to catch a leprechaun, and then we will work on creating our leprechaun traps. Okay, so starting with our book, How to Catch a Leprechaun, it's by Adam Wallace, and the pictures are by Andy Elkerton. And if you're familiar with this How to Catch a series, there's been some for Yetis, Snowman, Unicorn, uh, Easter Bunnies, Tooth Fairy. This one is about how to catch leprechauns in particular. Boy, I'm so excited. How to Catch a Leprechaun, Leprechaun by Adam Wallace and illustrated by Andy Elkerton. Take some notes. Here we go. The night is dark. The streets are quiet. St. Patrick's Day is near. I tap my hammer so you'll know the leprechaun is here. I'll pull out all your laces, put glitter in your hair. And when you walk around, you'll see my gold coins everywhere. There he goes, causing mischief. You'll never catch me in your trap. But yes, I'll make a scene. I'll turn the whole place upside down. Your toilet will be green. Oh my goodness. House number one. I'm going in. Snap. Who? Really? That's your trap? I'm in and out without a doubt. That one was a snap. So they tried to use a mouse trap. That definitely didn't work. And now I think it's getting worse. A shoe box on a stick? I'll dance a jig and still escape. We leprechauns are quick. See, there's the stick. Another house. I'll fix your shoes. They really were quite smelly. I'll eat the nuts you left as bait and leave with a full belly. Oh boy, look at that. They try to use the nutcracker as a tr as a trap. Oh my goodness. Excuse me. Now you're talking. Look at this. It's dandelion tea. But I'm not too speedy for your trap. This tea is mine for free. Oh boy. They're getting cleverer and cleverer. I know you want your pot of gold. That iron cage was clever, but I've been alive 200 years. 
you won't catch me ever. <laughs> now you're getting fancy, but I'll escape with twinkle toes. It's a fancy pantsy dancy. Oh my goodness. She is launching these unicorns, which apparently have really tough horns. Look at this. It's stuck in the wall and there's holes from her missed attempts. She's trying to shish kebab that leprechaun. My goodness. It seems to me an engineer has helped with this design. Too bad this little leprechaun is going to be just fine. Look, even the parents helped out. And it did not make a difference. Oh, goodness me. Oh, if you look closely at the illustration, it looks like the dad here. See how he has the stars? Got bonked by the bowling ball. Because it has the same stars. Oh, that would hurt. Your entire house is one big trap from the ceiling to the floor. Nice try indeed, but soon enough, I'll stroll right through the door. And the sign here says, totally safe for leprechauns. The leprechaun be gone 3000 gave me quite a scare, but without a four leaf clover, I won't be caught in there. Four leaf clover is said to be good luck because they're very hard to find. So he knows he needs better luck to get through this house. You'll never catch this leprechaun. Impossible, that's a fact. Unless one day a brilliant child designs the perfect trap. But who will that child be? Better luck next year. The end. So he set forth a challenge. Build the best leprechaun trap you can and be that child who catches him this year. St. Patrick's Day is on Wednesday this week. Make sure that you're wearing green and make sure that you put your trap out the night before. So on Tuesday night, before you go to sleep, put out your leprechaun trap and see, just threw that, totally didn't mean to, see if you can catch the leprechaun this year. So before we get into our leprechaun traps, let me show you some ideas to kind of get your gears turning about what it is that you would like to do when you build your leprechaun trap. We didn't send anything home for distribution because you guys can use all the things that you have at your house in order to build your trap. Here are some design ideas that I have for you, or at least to share with you, to get your gears turning and your ideas flowing. So here is one trap that you could make. It looks like it's just a shoe box and they've got a little ladder for the leprechaun. And then it looks like it's just a flat surface, but then it, the shoe box, they cut out a hole, kind of like if you think of a tissue box. Um, and then they put paper over the top so that when the leprechaun steps on it, it'll fall in. And they're luring him with a pot of gold because leprechauns love gold they love shiny things here's another idea or another three ideas kind of simpler if you don't have all those other options there's a jar with a ladder going up it and then a hole at the top and it says free gold and then when they drop in their track in the jar there's one that has oh they've got lucky charms they're after me lucky charms they never want to share those so if you can lure them in there's this little hat being held up by a, um, it looks like one of these guys, pipe cleaner. Um, 
when he gets it, it'll close down over him. Or there's this one here. It looks like a toilet paper roll or like part of a paper towel roll. There's a sign that says, get your gold here. There is a little flap here and a stick. And then once they get the gold, as they're moving, it knocks the stick, closes the flap, and then they're trapped inside the toilet paper roll. So all of these traps so far, things that we've noticed, they're small. Because leprechauns, even though the legend has it that they're pretty big, um, nowadays they're like fairy-like, they're pixie-like, so they're smaller. They're small traps. They have something that the leprechaun wants, so some kind of bait or allure of some sort, whether that be gold or lucky charms or something else that you decide. And then they all have a way of keeping the leprechaun trapped. Okay, let's keep looking. Oh, here's another setup. It's a box one. It says, welcome all leprechauns, free gold inside. It's a box. When they hit the stick, boom, it closes over them. Here's another trap. It's slightly different. It says free slide. So that might just be something fun and quirky because leprechauns are mischievous and fun loving. They'll climb up the popsicle stick ladder, slide down the paper towel roll slide, and then boom, land into the box where they can't get out. There's also this one here. Ooh, it looks like a rainbow with clouds and gold coins leading up again to the box and the stick. It's gonna slam on them. Here's another example of that. And here's one more that's slightly different. So this is actually the back of a box of Lucky Charms and you can use any, any box of cereal. But it's got a little popsicle stick ladder. There's a hole cut out into the back of the cereal box and they put a gold coin there and then the sign says more gold inside like up there so it'll climb up the ladder and then the leprechaun will jump in to get more gold and then he'll be trapped inside this really tall box for cereal ah ah what is happening here we go okay so we looked at some designs for leprechaun traps we learned what leprechauns were and we read a story about how to catch leprechauns um, so I guess the last thing to do is to actually get started. What you're going to need to do, or what I at least recommend you do, is to follow these three steps before you actually get into building. Draw a design of it. So draw it out maybe in your art book, your art journal. Draw a picture of what it is you plan to do. So the best thing to do is to have at least a plan going in. Then as you make your plan, say to yourself, okay, this is what I've drawn. How can I make that with the things that I have here at home, with all the recycling things that I have, with um, any of the furniture that I have in the house, with any of the kitchen supplies? What can I use to make my plan, my design, my drawing come to life? So you're going to draw your design, plan it out, then come up with your material list. And then you're also going to do a trial and error. So you'll kind of start building. And then as you're building, you're going to make your corrections to what it is that you're making. Like, oh, I thought I needed a straw, but I actually need something bigger and wider. So I'm going to use a paper towel tube or something like that. Draw it out, make your plan, get your list of materials. Oh, draw it out, make your plan, get your list of materials, and then make a rough draft of it, and then make some edits to it. All right, second graders, I can't wait to see what kind of designs you come up with, and I can't wait to see your traps. Definitely, please make sure that you take a picture of it and send it to us. We would love to see what you came up with, and I really hope, hope and pray, that you guys get to catch the leprechaun on St. Patrick's Day. This is Mrs. Cole here signing off for the final time. It was so awesome working with you and I cannot wait to see what you've done and to hear from you again. Until next time in our next journey, goodbye second graders. I will see you later. Happy hunting.